Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the monthly content schedule. This month we'll be covering March, of course. Uh, so I am Interactive today released the details of everything that's coming to come out in March for the monthly roadmap. So there's going to be a link in the description of the blog post that I am Interactive released today. So you can read along with that with the video if you want to or check it out in your free time. But if you want to read along with me, I'm going to cover it anyway. So from the top, it says as follows. More free content is on the way for Hitman 3 players this month. And we're going big for it with a new seasonal event. The final deluxe escalation and a whole lot more. Get a glimpse of everything that's on the horizon in March roadmap trailer and read on for more details. And it shows a link to the trailer that Clemens uh, nicely presented of all the uh, stuff that's coming out for the roadmap. So, first things first, seasonal event of the Berlin Egg Hunt, which is the first seasonal event for Hitman 3, will be free for all players and sees Agent 47 heading to Berlin, where the location has been transformed for the Berlin Egg Hunt. This exclusive club hall event has a strict dress code, so you'll need to dress to impress. Your knowledge of the club's exterior will be crucial because the event is at capacity when you arrive, and all the action takes place in the less explored surrounding areas. The Berlin Egg Hunt will be playable from the March 30th all the way up to the April 12th for all Hitman 3 players and brings a seasonal twist to the Berlin location with new decorations and graffiti, a series of unique objectives, new gameplay items to collect and use, unique targets and an unlockable suit to add to your permanent inventory. We'll share more details about the Berlin Egg Hunt event later this month. So it does sound interesting. I'm just a bit disappointed that it's a timed event rather than uh, it being it permanently. So I'm guessing they'll probably re-release it next year as well as a seasonal thing. Same with the Christmas uh, location in Paris as well. So I'm guessing that's uh, they're going to be more seasonal events and stuff like that coming along, which is cool. Because again, you got Halloween as well, and all that kind of stuff. So there's plenty of plenty to come in the future. Next up is the deluxe escalation, which is going to be the final one. It's called the Satu Mare Delirium. For owners of the deluxe edition or the deluxe pack, the sixth and final deluxe escalation will be arriving soon. Uh, this one is inspired by Agent 47's deep past and and the aftermath of the events of Codename 47. So for completing this escalation, which is going to be taking place in Berlin. You'll get the uh, the straight jacket as a suit, unlockable, to use on all the maps. The straight jacket belt, which is probably going to be like a fireball wire kind of weapon. And the Taunton dart gun. Now, it looks so much like a revolver. And everyone's been asking for a revolver in the game, so... When are we going to get a revolver? <laughs> but the Taunton dart gun, don't get excited for that. I think it's just going to be another uh, Calma 1 tranquilizer. It's not going to be like a lethal dart gun or anything like that, or an emetic dart gun. I'm pretty certain it's going to be just another tranquilizer. But it looks cooler uh, nonetheless, and I'm probably going to use that over the others because it looks the best one. Anyway, moving on, uh, they've got featured contracts, escalation, and elusive target. This month, Easy Allies and Eurogamer are taking on the challenge of creating featured contracts in Chongqing and in Mendoza, respectively. Look out for their creations in the coming weeks. We've also got an elusive target in Isle of Scale and an escalation in Berlin. Game update. Finally, we're getting ready to release another patch for the game to further improve the overall experience, resolve issues, and prepare the game for new content that's currently in the works. This is your Hitman 3 March roadmap. So overall, we've got the, the Leslie Celebration Escalation in Berlin, the Easy Allies and Chongqing featured contracts, the, the Stowaway Elusive Target in Isle of Scale, the Eurogamer Mendoza contracts, and the Satu Mare Delirium Deluxe Escalation, and the Berlin Egg Hunt Seasonal Event as well. So overall, it's a pretty action-packed month overall for the content. I'm just really disappointed about the elusive target. Um, I just wanted to make this, you know, make this make a point about this as well. Um, just before the Hitman 3 came out, they did an article on the, in their live blog of all the game modes that are going to be available for Hitman 3. And um, they did mention Elusive Target, and they said they were reworking how Hitman 3 uh, Elusive Targets are going to work. And so far, we've had two Legacy Escalation, uh, Legacy Elusive Targets now. And if you don't even own Hitman 1, then you completely miss the chance of even taking these Elusive Targets on, and then losing your opportunity to get the suits for, along with the rewards with it as well. 
So I just don't understand why why they're doing this. And, and I really wish there was more communication there to explain uh, whether elusive targets are going to change at all, if anything. And are we even going to get Hitman 3 elusive targets? Because I feel like at the moment they're just going to re-release all the Hitman 1 and Hitman 2 targets. And that is it. I've got a bad feeling that we're not going to get any Hitman 3 exclusive elusive targets to Hitman 3 maps. And that's what I'm really afraid of because all these other maps, a lot of players have already played these elusive targets. And especially the Stowaway, which we've done, I think, three times now. Yes, it will be a little bit more tricky with that like, electrocution throne, but not impossible. But it's just, I don't know, t to me it seems very boring and it's very stale completing these elusive targets again and again. But, you know, it is what it is. We are in Hitman 3. I will be redoing it regardless. Uh, but I just wish and hope that there's going to be Hitman 3 location specific elusive targets in the near future. Hopefully come April that we will get that. Because at the moment, I'm just a little bit underwhelmed. Because they did promise that they was going to rework how elusive targets work. And so far it's exactly the same. Nothing has changed. The rewards are exactly the same. I just, I'm very disappointed when it comes to the elusive targets. You should either make them permanent or just either put them in new maps or get rid of the rewards. I don't know. You, you need, something needs to be changed with the elusive targets anyway because it's incredibly stale. And I'm just very bored of them at the moment. Everything else though. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of uh, content coming out this month, so I'm looking forward to it. I've already covered one of the escalations as well, which should be up on the channel just before this video is posted as well, which was the um, the Leslie celebration escalation was in Berlin. So, yeah. So let's get one more look at this content schedule. So the dates are as follows. So today, as of the March the 4th, you have the Leslie celebration escalation in Berlin, which is out now, as I said. Uh, March 11th, we have the Chongqing featured contracts by Easy Allies. March 19th, you have the Stowaway Isle of Scale Elusive Target for 10 days available. And then on March 25th, we're going to have a Eurogamer featured contract for Mendoza. And then on March 30th, you're going to have the game update. And uh, you're going to have the Deluxe Escalation. And then you're going to have the, the Berlin Egg Hunt as well. So it's a big uh, content drop on the 30th coming. So mainly, main, the main content is all going to be at the end of the month. So plenty to look forward to. And... Um, interested to see what the egg hunt is all about hopefully it's not just a a whole fetch quest kind of thing but we'll see how that is and obviously i'm going to cover it as soon as possible when it comes out but you've only got that available for what is it 10 days or two weeks or something like that but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments what you think about this monthly schedule and uh what do you think of the new suit as well i think it looks pretty cool uh, i might start wearing that instead the casual but i don't know I'm interested to know your thoughts anyway, but that's going to do it for this particular video. I uh, just want to say thank you very much for watching, and feel free to drop a like if you did enjoy this video, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. Shout out to Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedri, Arjal, Mark David, Constantine, The Crazy Jesus, The Shafe. Isaiah Blake and Nico Senpai for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate all your support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.